Hello Cancers, this is for you, October 2017. More for your finances, work, uh, business, partnership, your work forefront, alright, for Cancers. So let's see what do we have for Cancers for the month of October 2017. This time round, I'll be doing a different spread. Mainly, we're going to have the first decan, second decan, and the last decan of the month, October, followed by a head and a tail card. So, I will explain more into detail shortly. So, for now, let me just um, get the cards laid out. One last shuffle for Cancers for the month of October 2017 for the business, finances, work for some. What do we have for Cancers? Okay. This is for first decan, the first to the tenth of October, eleven to the twentieth of October, second decan here. Then we have the last decan, twenty-first October to thirty-first October, the tail card. The general energy mainly will be the head and the tail. Head card and a tail card. Head and a tail. Head, tail. Okay? So, let me flip the cards. For the head, we have the head usually your general energy or your crowning. Or if not, sometimes maybe your, um, your root of the problem, your major obstacles. So, if you clear away the head... Um, it, you a lot of things would have been much easier for you. The tail is something where it is uh, the energy is more minor. It is uh, more subtle, but it's definitely it is definitely something that's disturbing you much because the tail is something where you can hardly scratch it. You can hardly reach and get to it. But it's definitely is it's feeling like something is there, and then it's just very disturbing. This is how the tail is. Uh, for you the energy so let's see the root of the problem the major obstacles or if not just your general vibe your general energy will be queen of pentacles so queen of pentacles is about if that if there are different ways to look at it if that is your general energy would be this queen of pentacles may mean uh, mainly being you um, doing pretty good, pretty well. Um, not a king, but a queen is pretty, is good enough. It's like you may most likely be like a number two uh, in your working environment, uh, like number two. Speaking of which, if this is going to be your um, root of the problem, your major, uh, uh, major crowning, it may be you are just a number two and it's like you need to get to number one number one meaning the like the head of the department the head of a of a uh, like the leader you need to be in that position but as far as if you are not and if you continue to be in the number two position then it's like there are a lot of things you are not able to get it done you have to still have to report to your number one Alright, or otherwise, if you are not in a number two position, then it will mean that in your working environment or in your finance, anything that deal with finances, there is this person, number two person, uh, like not the biggest, but the second biggest uh, role is obstructing you. This is your major obstacle. So that is the queen of pentacles here. Okay. The tail of it, the tail we have got the queen of wands, okay. This is about you, yes, I think, yeah, it's looking like that. So queen of wands is about someone who know um, uh, uh, what she wants, what she wanted for herself, what she needs, what she wants to achieve. So this is queen of wands. The wands, if you know, and that I have said that enough, wands are your... Um, your hope, your dream, your goal, your ideal, your expectation. So this is the queen of wands. So if this card is appearing in your tail reading, that means this is something that is disturbing you. There is something cancers for you in the month of October. You are feeling like there's something that you want to reach it, you want to get it, but you are not able to. 
or you are still trying to manifest, you're waiting for the right time to come, a uh, right thing to happen, you're waiting for some kind of probably promotion or or some people to leave the environment or some um yeah, some bosses to go to move uh change around or business partner to uh to go away for a while or yeah there's something about you you're waiting you're wanting it this month but it's like it's not happening yet this is queen of wands so that's your tail energy which is something that is not within your control you can't really do much about it and this hate energy general energy about this someone that is here uh, could be blocking your way most likely this person is looking like the number two not number one but number two in the position like the assistant manager assistant director uh, so on and so forth someone who's of a number two or second most senior person okay so now we will flip the first decan of the month what do we have in the first decan of the month so well so the first decade of the month, um, I think a lot about the past. It is a lot about the past, a lot about people relationship. Because the minute when we see this card, is a, there is this six of cups. Okay, if you can see. This six of cups, if you see, there are one, two, three, three person here. But mainly, uh, more prominently, we are seeing two. Then we have got two of cups. Again, it's two. Four of ones. Again, there are two person here. Okay, so let's begin off with uh, what the card means by itself. So Six of Cups over here, this card is talking about reminiscing the past. It's a lot about the past because if you see these are children, children, uh, which is like, you know, now that we are adults and then when we think about children, we're thinking about, oh, back in those days when I was still a child, when I was still a kid. Okay, so it's a lot about reminiscing, reminiscing the past, a lot of, about the past. It could be the past people are coming back or you're just thinking about the past or probably sometimes if we are talking about work-related forefront, you may want to go back to look for a uh, ex-person, ex-business partner, ex-boss, ex-company. You may be thinking about the past, uh, last, past, yeah, not, not last, but the past, the past people, company, people you deal with, people whom you work with very much. You are thinking a lot about the past. Okay, cancers. You may be wanting to go back sometimes for some of you. And two of cups. So two of cups over here is a lot about uh, contractual deals, partnership. Uh, it's like, a, you know, it's like your seventh house. Seventh house is about... um uh, uh, black and white contractual partnership so this is two of cups so two of cups is about uh, of course in a love relationship it's about lovers lovers coming together um, but if it's in a work forefront we are talking about two prominently we are seeing two 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 person coming together working having to work together come together uh, as a partnership uh, body system two of cups and it is this Two of Cups, this partnership, body system, or uh, any contractual uh, relationship with you and another one person is looking like uh, it is favorable because Two of Cups is a very loving, very good energy. So you and this one other person, whoever it may be, your client, your bosses, I mean your boss, your, your buddy, your co-worker, your colleague, uh, your business partner. So these are good good people whom you can be working with and you will see yourself working very closely with this one other person in the early part of october two of cups then we have four of ones four of ones is about uh stability uh sometimes also about reunion two person coming back together stability is like a uh, grounding and uh, fixing some foundation because we are talking about four four is like a pillar if we have got four pillars it's definitely going very strong and steadily so that is four of ones so we are looking <clears throat> mm. I think there is some amount of consideration in your first uh, decade of October, the early part of October. Cancers, uh, I think generally most of you will be thinking about a partnership, thinking about um, looking, going back to someone whom you work with in the past, uh, whom you deal with in the past very much in the first decade of October. Let's gel the full picture later on in the full month. So for now, 
let's see what do we have in the mid middle of October, the second decan of the month. So, so for the de second decan of the month, firstly we start off with the sun. Okay, it's looking like this other person. This, if you are thinking and considering to go back to ex company, like if some, if your ex company is asking, oh, would you want to come back, or a business partner or a client invitation to you, like would you want to join me? Would you can want to work with me? Uh, definitely is looking like if any of such thing are in are on the table for you it's definitely a good thing because here we have got the Sun the Sun is talking about lady luck shining shining uh, its torch on you it's a good thing it's a good uh, bright beginning positive beginning that is the Sun um, especially because this card the Sun card is beneath the six of cups of the past so Anything that is from the past, anyone, any place, any people from the past is definitely going to serve you very well this month, in the middle of the month, okay? And then we have got the Three of Cups. Three of Cups, this is again about, a lot about reunion. Uh, reunion with, uh, with uh, two or more, with one other person. Or if it's not a body system, then it is a group, of course, I mean, obviously, but it is more like coming together. It is very much like coming together a lot more on the, on the theme over here, reunion theme is on the table. Reunion coming back together, uh, well, of course, again, when we talk about coming back together, we are talking about people from the past coming back together because we, it is a reunion. Reunion is from the old. Um, it could sometimes also mean a new new partnership, but minority of it is could sometimes also mean new partnership because when we have the, the got the two of cups and four of wands, it's like looking like marriages over here. When it's a marriage, of course, it's with someone whom you have been with long time, whom you have knew long time for the longest time so it shouldn't be so much of like someone new but it could it may also be with someone new coming together working together as one very minor very minor because of all these cards it is more like three and four four of these cards are talking a lot about the past then we have ten of pentacles it is again it is confirming once again because if we look at this second decan if you see this second decan middle of the month we are having the sun and the ten of pentacles this is the ten of pentacles so this ten of pentacles and the sun this two good card is surrounding this middle card the three of cups if we this so it is confirming it is an assurance and like double confirming that this get together reunion working together with the past with the old is a good thing it's a good choice for you and it's meant to be it needs to be this is how it, things should be happening uh confirming for you once again by middle of the month if you are still deciding thinking about it you should go ahead like if there is any proposition or offer proposal for you to come back with to the old company uh to consider a uh the last um an old offer or whatever situation something of the past of the old is looking like it is a choice for you because we have got the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles it is a full mark full score okay also about coming together if you look at this couple they are like um yeah so loving and i mean it could also about peacemaking coming back together they are hugging and then it's it is a definitely a very fruitful card to have over here because we have got children, we have got the elderly. It's like a big family coming back together. It's quite easy for you, uh, cancers. In case you are thinking about it, what should you do if you should be accepting an offer? I think this is what it is for you. Okay, now I see. There is a reason why. There is a reason why. Um, all right. Okay, now I see. Now I see the full picture over here. Remember, we see the the root, the obstacle here is the Queen of Pentacles, your general energy over here. Okay. Let's not forget this, and let's not forget the tail card. That's something that you wanted for yourself. 
So towards the end, uh, the last decan of October, the third decan over here, the 21st onwards to 31st October, we have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that um, you are being left out in a call whatsoever, but I feel that you are putting yourself in this, in this situation where it feels like the Five of Pentacles. Look at this card, look at this picture. It is like it is not the best place to be in, but I feel that you are putting yourself in here. You could be feel you could be stubborn about something, Cancer. Um, yeah, you could be stubborn about something. It's like because previously we have got all the good things coming, the signs showing to you, uh, offers proposition coming to you from the past, from the old, and then it's like the sun is looking everything good, but it's like you are still holding on and still thinking about it, considering, and then. Five of Pentacles is about you putting yourself into this place. Five of Pentacles. Then we have Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands, again, is about someone who's um, very determined because Princess is like a daughter, like a, very, like a page, a very young energy. So if someone who is young, uh, and this is a one like uh, the suit of the Wands. Wands are your dream, your hope, your goal, your ideal, your dream. Uh, yeah. So if this lady here, she is very um determined to get what she want to, what she want to get, what she feel, what she feel, like having for herself. She is very determined. Like no matter how, no matter what, she will get to where she want. She could be sometimes she she could come across as a very competitive uh energy over here, princess of wands. And followed by the wheel, okay? If you are looking for a new change, this card again, this card, the wheel, wheel is turning, wheel is changing, is going, uh, usually clockwise, is moving. So if you are um, waiting for something, um, the wheel is moving, the wheel is here, and it's going to move forward, move ahead, move on from whatever it is right now in the present the wheel so whatever the present is we have the wheel which means the opposition of the present so if things are not moving for you or if like things are not looking good uh, in the past for you we have the wheel good things are coming um, uh, uh, I'm not too sure I can't be very sure like if whether if good things are coming but definitely there will be some movement and changes over here being the wheel is going in a cycle so, but definitely it's moving. Something is moving. Something is going round, uh, round and round the wheel. So if we have to put this together, the past, reminiscing about the past, coming back together, contractual agreement, reunion gives you fruitful, uh, gives you result. Then it's like I think you're feeling like something is missing over here because then we have five of pentacles. Something is missing here. Because if you look at this card again, can you see like the pentacles are here? But it's not fully filled up. So something is missing over here, and you are feeling like something is missing towards the end of the month, or even any part of the month, any time in the month, you're feeling like something is missing. So and then it's like there's something that you want. You are uh, pacing, you are pacing yourself, like definitely you are going towards your goal, your achieve, uh, to achieve what you want to achieve. And then the wheel is here. There's going to be a change. Uh, there's going to be, be some movement, movement around because this is the wheel. So if we gel everything together... I think it, it is it is looking like a struggle. It is uh, looking like a struggle between the the head and the heart, um, the the mind and the heart. Uh, it is a struggle. You know, it's as far as everything is looking like. Yeah, you know, you have to work with this person. You have to go back to the past, or there is a past proposition. Uh, uh, past, uh, someone, somebody, somewhere. Uh, of the past is coming towards you. Uh, having an offer. Or 
you know, reunion, going back to the past, to the old. But something in you, there could be this person, there could be like this person there, which is holding you back. Like, I don't want to go back because this person is there. I don't want to work with this person. Or even if you go back, they are just offering you a number two. Like, no, I don't want to go back as that. I want to go back as number one. I want to be the head. I want to be the leader. I want to be the manager over there. This is the Queen of Pentacles. There's, yeah, and then if you put this thing to this two card together, it's like you, you know what you want for yourself. You know, you definitely know. The Queen is a very strong, um, uh, she's a very experienced lady. She knows. She knows what she need, she needs. She wanted for herself, and then this is the blockage over here. Queen of Pentacles. So as much as the the past, the old is on the table there for you to consider, but you are definitely holding it back. If we look at the center of the spread here, Three of Cups, I want to tell you, you should just go back. If there is any, um, like, uh, a job that you interviewed in the past, a partner, a client of the past, a partner, business partner, a boss, a manager, a co-worker, a colleague, someone from the past, you just, you need to be working with them. But because towards the end of the month, it's saying that it is saying and looking like you ended up you may be considering from the early part of October but towards the end of the month it is pretty sure that you may not go ahead with it you may not go ahead with it because ultimately you know what you want for yourself and you are pacing working your way through you are buying some time the wheel can also be talking about a time buying time because wheel is like a clock is round so you are buying some time you may not ultimately end of the month you may not go ahead with it but in this spread over here it's telling you that it should not be too bad and it would not be that bad to be going back if there is a something someone who's coming back to you uh, to be if you have to work with someone of the past or even let's say someone of the past is now your client um, your business partner it's not going to be a bad thing to be considering to work with them. Alright, so cancers, this is all I can see on the table for you. Anything else? Um, but I mean, of course, there should be if I try to elaborate longer, but I don't. Uh, let's keep it this way. Um, if you need a very personalized, very private reading, feel free to email and write to me. Description box has it, has, has the details. And uh, till then, I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.